Hello, hello. Sasha. Welcome on stage. And this one is actually a really interesting presentation, a little bit different from everything else that we kind of heard this morning. Um, and this Thank one you. is about selective surface activation induced by laser. It's a really interesting way to make 3D, um, yeah, 3D electronics. So you have 20 minutes and, you know, good luck. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Sasha, for a kind introduction. And uh, today I will talk about selective surface activation used by laser, a technology of electronic circuit formation on various three-dimensional electric surfaces. Um, first, I would like to present uh, my facility where I'm working. I'm working at the Center for Physical Science and Technology, large, lar largest research facility in Lithuania and also in the Baltic States. It's, it was established in 2000, uh, two, two, 2010 by merging four uh, major research facilities in Lithuania, Institute of Chemistry, Institute of Physics, and Institute of Semiconductors and Institute of Textile. I personally work in Institute of Physics. It consists on several uh, departments. I'm working in the Department of, of Electro Optoelectronics and Laser Technologies. Um, and uh, it consists of several laboratories with uh, several direction of research. One of them is laser microfabrication, then optical coatings, then laser development, fiber laser, solid state laser, nanophotonics, and personally I'm working in 3D laser technology lab. Um, so firstly, I would like to outline my presentation. Uh, I will start with motivation, why we started to do this research on um, selective uh, surface activation and, and selected the position of matter for circuits. Then I will talk about method itself, the steps, uh, and uh, talk about the benefits against the state of the art, um, why are can deposit the, your circuit trace, various the electric materials application areas we are working on, then <clears throat> key parameters of resistance where we see advantages against other technologies. And uh, our new research direction is uh, micron and submicron deposition of the trace uh, for uh, application like transparent conductive electrode or heterogeneous chip integration. So we started on application for molded interconnect devices, although we focus on one application, but for MID, there are no limits, like they can be applied for telecommunication, computer, medicine, lighting, consumer, or even automotive industry. Uh, and during the development, from uh, molded interconnect devices to mechatronic integrated devices. And this happens because of the um, advanced additive manufacturing technologies that uh, uh, capability to produce complex shape geometries, not even from the plastic, but also from uh, ceramics and metals, composite materials, and so on. And another another reason was the application pool from the industry, the demand of merging the mechanical, electrical, thermal, optical, and magnetical properties to a single part. And here we represent a selective surface activation used by laser. We call it abbreviation like SAIL. It's patented technology. It consists of three major steps. The first is one is uh, fast laser writing uh, of the circuit where we need to deposit the, the metal. Then follows uh, rinsing and chemical activation, but it's palladium free process. It doesn't use palladium. And the last one is electrolyzed deposition of the metal and finally, we had a part uh, which which we can plate with copper, nickel, gold, or copper, silver, or even copper, cobalt. And uh, to to avoid mis misunderstood, I, firstly, I would like to compare this technology with laser direct structuring technology, the state of the art other technology. Uh, laser direct structuring, for those who don't know, works. Uh, uh, only based on the additives inside the wall material volume, uh, mostly in the polymers. Uh, additives are in high content, like from four to eight percent. Uh, they are mixed to wall material, and they are mostly metal organic based additives, like copper oxide, spinel crystals, materials. They are activated uh, by a laser. They become uh, active as a catalyst for chemical deposition of metal in the bath. And in our case, we use standard material without 